Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting 145 on the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March. No, not really. Uh, our agenda is going to be short today. Uh, we're going to do triage. Uh, we don't have many other people here besides Bob and Sean. I mean, basically, we have the core contributors and I don't know, everybody else is hiding from the daggers in the back. Anyway, as always, these meetings are recorded for those of us that aren't here right now, which is basically everybody. Um, and Sean and Bob are very used to being recorded. So, let's go do this. Triage, we missed last week due to me being completely destroyed by the flu, so we have a few more issues than usual. Um, and we'll go forward from there. Uh, starting at the bottom. Someone wants to be able to ignore .NET 3.5. Well, this goes away in 3.14 anyway. Uh, true. So, no, 3.14? I mean, no. I mean, no. We're not going to do It's not necessary. It, actually, 3.14 already already skips the 3.5 check. Ah, good. So That can go away. And this one is fixed in four. The is project the whole common targets is changing with project restore, and this is fixed in Wix four. And that's where we'll do it because we're not going to change the Wix targets in Wix three X. That's way too crazy breaking. Um, VC projects referenced with the wrong path. Yeah, this person opened another issue and didn't I'm not following template. Describe it, um, but it's not. Okay. It's not clear to me what... Okay, there's a yellow exclamation mark. Okay, does that actually prevent a problem? Present a problem? I mean, there's probably something here for votive, but I, I'm not clear what the... the variables and files are, are not accessible, so you can't reference... Yeah, I don't know if this ever works. Uh, VC, VC references work. I don't have any problem with that. So I'm, that's why I'm... Variables, files are not accessible. I don't know what that means. Um, have him upload an example project and then and go from there. Like there's nothing to go on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That sounds. You can say works for me. Please upload your project so I can try to reproduce it. Preprocessor documentation is lacking. So go fix it. That's like some of the easiest stuff to fix. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sure. Someone can go fix that. Put it on the web. I guess or wherever. Um, someone go fix that. Um, installing a bundle on remote machine. Uh, no, we're not doing this. This is all kinds of crazy. It's bad enough that we do SQL databases on remote machines and the craziness that can create. Uh, burn is not a remote. No, not a remote. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> all kinds of problems you get into when trying to install remote machines, and burn is not going to have all that code in it. No. Something to build on top of burn if you want that kind of thing. The docs remove registries say the key attribute, uh, the parent is a registry key. This value may be omitted. That is incorrect. Okay. Another doc bug. Cool. Um, I guess we can put this with the other one. Be like, yeah, someone should fix that. That'd be great. Cool. Sure. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, great. That's false. We should fix that. Torch fails to complete on RS3 OS new to do feature associated with temporary creations. Ugh. Yeah, so breaking is... change in what? .NET framework? That's the implication. Um, so I, I, I had some of this off thread. Um, first of all, this only happens when Torch is running elevated. Um, okay. Which, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I went looking. This is not a problem in RS3. Um, and the switch that they're listing here, the switches, well, the switch. The registry keys? Yeah. Well, this is a, yeah, this, this whole switch dot system dot, that's actually, there are a number of switches that control that .NET Framework behavior. Um, but as you note, they're in H -K HKLM, yeah. and so <laughs> that's a workaround, but not something we can fix. And unfortunately, my my request for more detail has uh, not been 
dealt with. Um, I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's nothing we can do here to act on it. I'm wondering if it's not. If they say RS3 plus. I'm wondering if it's RS4. This is this is um this is fixed in Wix four because we don't use the temp file collection anymore. Um, oh, it's an, it's an old it's an old piece of technology. Yeah, yeah, it's the code DOM. Long. For some yeah. reason, they stuck it in code DOM. Oh, is it? Okay, whatever. Um, anyway. So yeah, we should not. I mean, yeah, we'll fix it. This is fixed in Wix four. Let's just go with that, um, or will be fixed in Wix four um, as soon as Wix four is released with the new code. So I'm fine um, with that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I don't want to rewrite all the temp file handling in Wix three. It's just uh, upgrade to four. It's better there. Um, well, then again, this is you know this is something that happens when elevated, so I'm really yeah. not terribly worried about. Yeah, I don't. It wouldn't meet my bar for three fourteen. In Solution Explorer display for set. Please provide the same icons for reference folder and for the individual within references, such as the WinForms app and class library. Oh, he wants different icons. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Someone can do that. <laughs> That's votive. All right, great. That was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Did we end up with any real bugs in that? I, I, all the doc bugs are real. Um, and everything else is fixed in four, basically. Hey, that's great. That's where I want to get to. Yay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know we need to release four. That's a thing, but all right. That's like where we want to be going. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Um, we haven't chatted for a while. I don't know that much is going on out there. I mean, I had the flu a couple of weeks ago, which totally wiped me out, and I'm on the uh, getting to the end of my last big project, which is a big deal um, for me, um, so that I can go back to making progress on Wix 4 and various other things instead of being completely buried in big projects for other customers. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually... Pretty excited about that if I didn't have so much work left to do. <laughs> Otherwise, well, every time we mention that something is fixed in Wix four, it's like, yeah, so we should get that out. Get there. one of those yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, I, I know that, and I was making great progress until um, this other project came up and bit me. So, um, yeah, all I've done is that dispose pull request earlier in the week. Um, yeah, I, I was following with some interest, um, but then I'm like, uh, okay, we're getting way deep into minutia that I decided I didn't really care a whole lot about. <laughs> well, the, the truth is that, that the whole, you know, I disposable stuff, probably I've never grasped it, you know, since done at one. Never been something I fully grokked and and in the threads bouncing back and forth. Yeah, and DTF's API is particularly nasty in the way that it handles those. Um, not that I've come up with a good way of doing it, but the fact that you get MSI handles as out parameters or things or whatever, and you get them in loops on I enumerables, it just makes it very, very, very challenging to release them properly. Um, and so hmm. it's just I've looked at API a number of times in DTF and go, ah no, ah I don't know how to fix. It. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I, I, this this needs to be reapproached. Just kind of where I get to, and I'm like, no, I'm not, nope, not dealing with this. So that's why every time I get near DTF, I'm like, no, I'm not touching this API. It's just old, and it mirrors the Windows installer API, which is an old, slightly Win32 API, but has some quirks to it because it's built by people in Office trying to pretend to building APIs and and without an API design team and all that kind of stuff. So I've always looked at it going, no, I'm not getting into that. I'm not waiting into DTF. It's like DTF and Votive and Heat. I just don't get into those areas. <coughs> I'm just like, <laughs> whatever. I've, I've kept it working. I've not broken it. That gets no better. So yeah, I, I've, I've when I try to use the API, it always frustrates me. I'm like, this is not what I want not the way I'd want it to work, but um, but it is better than all the alternatives that I've ever seen. So there's that. 
um, including the internal API that we use inside Wix for general purpose stuff. It's better than that, too. Um, so anyway, so what are you going to do with that pull request? Is it Are you pushing it forward, or are you basically declaring no on it? Well, his fix is wrong, basically. Well. So the, the root cause is the finalizer is finalizing the the cab worker and then the cab worker has a reference to the safe handle for the cab handle so when it's dispo when it's going through the finalizer the cab worker is not disposing the safe handle because the finalizer will eventually get to the safe handle class mm -hmm. so when the finalizer finalizes the safe handle it calls the destroy on the cab handle but then apparently the cab APIs have it to where it'll call back into your code to actually free the memory. But the method to free the memory is on the cab worker, which Oops. was finalized. Oops. So, so it need, that needs to be redesigned then to handle that. So, I mean, the the method that it's calling on the cab worker is only calling, you know, marshall.hglobalfree or whatever. So, so static? Yeah. It just needs to be turned, that callback just needs to go to a static method, and then everything will be fine. All right. Ah, okay. Woo! Fun stuff. But it... I, you avoid I got all the this if you just call dispose. Yeah. Right. I was getting the impression from the guy that he didn't agree with my analysis, so it didn't sound like he was going to update the pull request, so I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably just, I guess I'll have to create an issue for it and then just fix it myself is what it looked like. Or or just make sure that you always dispose it and don't worry about the issue, but sure. Yeah, either way. <laughs> it does sound like it's, it's a misuse of of an API. If, it's, if something's not disposable and you don't follow the pattern, I mean, yeah, yeah, garbage collection is great, but... I kind of have a limited amount of, of sympathy for the for API misuse. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I assume the code that, I mean, the proposal you're proposing is simple, Sean. Right. I, I don't know what his solution was, but I, I'm guessing it was more complex than that. Well, his solution was to, in the cab worker, always dispose the safe handle, even if you're on the finalizer thread. But that's just going to create another problem. Yeah, that that's not right. Okay. So, right. So we're not taking the pull request. He could try your solution, or you can avoid this whole finalizer race problem if you dispose of it yourself and avoid the bug. Right. Yeah. Um, fair enough. Oh, gosh. I just need a little more space to breathe. <laughs> I'll feel better. <sighs> All right. On that note, um, I think we're good here. Um, I'm going to be out in two weeks, but I'm inclined to just um, skip another week because, well, I don't think a whole lot's going to happen in those two weeks, and we have uh, obviously can clear out the triage of four weeks in that time. Um, so my proposal is we skip next month, uh, next, not next week, next two weeks. We skip the next meeting, and we have a meeting after that, so that'll be four weeks from now. Do you guys have any concerns about doing so? Uh, I generally prefer being able to refer to the meetings as fortnightly, but monthly would work for a month, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I won't be available in three weeks, so <laughs> just... Well, then four weeks it is. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think we're going to have enough content for next week, so uh, we'll do that. All right, gentlemen, great talking to you, all of you on the in the future watching this. That's cool too let us know if anything else comes up as always we're hanging out in wix devs working on code not a lot right now but you know we make progress as we have the cycles in between and until uh four weeks from now uh you guys take it easy we'll see you later bye bye bye